ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first episode of this career mode in 2022. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, but we are finally back with some Manly Career Mode as we will be taking on the Warriors here in round 17. So let's get into it. Our lineup is unchanged from last round against Cronulla after we had our dominant win over the Sharks. I thought best not to change what's working, so we, we are going with the same lineup as we do kick off, so the Warriors will bring it up through the middle to start this game. A lot of potential for the Warriors in 2022. It's exciting to see Sean Johnson return to the Warriors. Uh, we spoke a bit about that last game against Cronulla, but um, it's interesting to see how he'll go with the new combinations. But that's fifth for New Zealand. They kick down our end, and that's a great kick, and they do pin us in our 10-metre zone. So we will be having to take one-ups to get this one out. But Josh Schuster gets flattened in that one. And we are definitely struggling for our first set and attack, but great run there from Marty Tapao. Gets a few metres under our belt. That is fourth. And we'll look for DCE to kick this down the field. Looking for the sideline as well. Can we get the 40-20? The bounce not in our favour, but Tom Trebojevic comes up with it. Did not expect that. As Turbo just snatched that out of the air. And fifth tackle for us will be in their 30 metres. So not a bad result in the end. As we put the bomb up. DCE is under it, but he can't come down with it. But a great result of what was a terrible set to start with. They got very lucky with that kick downfield. So we'll try to keep him down here. As that's second and they are in their own 20. Short ball to Tavanga. We're definitely backing up that set with some nice defences. That's fifth and last and they are deep in their own half. As they will kick this one down to Ruben Garrick. He takes it on our 30. And tries to bring it up towards halfway. We call for numbers on the right. We give it to Foran. He sends this one short to Tom Trebojevic, but there's no gaps in the Warriors' defence. We'll send it back to the middle. DCE sends it out to Sirinan. Inside to Josh Alloyer. He takes a hit up there. We are struggling to make metres or break the defensive line as we come up with the error there. Is it a knock-on by us or did they get a hand to it? It is off the Warriors, so we do get the scrum play. And we'll try to utilise this open space to get a line break as Tom Trebojevic plays to Brad Parker. He's through a gap. A few metres on offer for him there. There's a few gaps up the ruck, but we send it back to the middle. And Josh Alloyer will settle that one. We go back to the middle again. Send it out wide. Morgan Harper with a huge gap. Gets it to Jason Saab. And he doesn't have the open space. But it was beautiful work from the centre. As we send it infield, Olakawatu. Out to four and it looks to crash over and he got the offload. And Josh Alloyer with the fend. And he goes over for the first four pointer. Very nice work from four and to get that arm free. And Alloyer making no mistake to finish that one. The offload deserved the try. And we do go up four nil. Garrick will look to make this six nil. And he does. So we lead New Zealand early in the first quarter of this match. Looking to back it up in this set as to power. Plays short to Schuster and he's through. He's found support in Manasi Fainu. Will really he have the legs? He'll get ankle tap and tackled there. The most important set in a game to me is the set after a try. So it's important we back up the try with some meters. To make sure they are not invited back into this game. As we send it out. Olakawatu to Harper. Can he have another crack? And he does. He gets it to Saab. And this time they make it work. And we go in yet again. And Saab now makes it 10 points to nil. As Garrick from the sideline. He will make it 12. Schuster with the ball, off a standing start, sends it wide to Parker, looking for a gap, but he's tackled behind the 40. We've got numbers on the left, 
as that's where we'll go. We send it out somehow to Garrick. I think it was touched there by a New Zealand Warrior again. As we do get a scrum yet again, just like that play earlier. Okay, let's see what we can do off of it as foreign. Switch play to Parker, and he's through, but his ankle tapped. And he's tackled there over the 50. Fainu with the ball. Sends it wide to Kepi. Gets it out to DCE, and he takes the tackle. That's second now, and not long left in this half. As from dummy half, we send it out to Jason Saab, who puts it back on the inside to Harper. Looked pretty nice, but we didn't get anywhere. As we look to send this back to the left, up the middle goes Baseka, and he settles it right in the middle of the posts. As we look for that left side play, Foran plays flat to Parker. He's through. Will he have the legs? He's got support. Goes on the inside to Curtis Sirinan. And he scores the try. And just like last game, we go up 16-0 with a dominant start in this first half. And Garrick will look to make this 18. And off the upright, but it goes in 18-0 just before half time. Do we have anything left in the tank before the siren goes? As Harper makes another break. Trying to go back to back like Manly did so many times in 2021. As Saab with the ball. Gets a fend and there's nobody in front of him. No one will catch Jason Saab. And he will go straight under the post. And we hit again to go 22 points to nil. We go back to back before half time. And that one will hurt the Warriors. As they will be four converted tries behind in a minute. As Garrick makes this 24 points to him. That is half time. And that has been a convincing performance from the boys. As we go in 24 points to nil. There's not much to improve on other than keeping the momentum. So we'll try to keep them scoreless in the second half. So obviously happy with the 24 points. But the aim is to keep them to nil as defence has been a problem at times this season. So we are going to do our best to obviously score some more points, but yeah, keep them on nil. As we send it out to Olakawatu, and he takes this one on the 20 metre line. We call for DCE to send it wide to four, and the halves link up, but he's tackled there. We go short side, as Cuss looking for Parker, but it's deflected off a warrior and they will get the ball so not the way to back up a brilliant first half as we turn the ball over to them and immediately they have an opportunity 20 out as they go short side they got the numbers and the space and they will crash over after talking about keeping them scoreless we can see straight away very unlucky coming off the error from Cade Cust who tried to inject himself on the off the bench. As Chanel Harris Tavita will miss this conversion. Time to back it up in defense again, as we did the opposite of what we spoke about. That's tackle one for Noah Blake up the middle against his former club. As another hit up now from Lisa Armau, and he's straight through, gets it up to the 50. The Warriors with some momentum now, looking for more points as they go short side as DCE wraps up the big second rower. And quick play the ball. Our marker's not square. And there's another break now from Roger to Avasa Sheck, but he's tackled 20 out. They're definitely closing in on another four pointer here as another line break. They get the offload this time and they do go in again. And we have had a shocking start to this second half. The Warriors finding a second win in this second half as they send it again to Roger to Avasashek and his through goes right around Tommy Turbo. Are they going in for a third? No, he is tackled. Dangerous signs here from the Warriors and our defense just crumbling. But that is fifth and last. Can we hold them out? Some desperation defense now as they send it to Chanel Harris Tavita who puts the bomb up. They do come down with it. They break a tackle, but they won't break two, and we will get the ball back 
finally. After all that defending. For second now. Tries to get a line bust, but he's tackled. As we send it to Kepi. He gets a bump straight through the line. Roger Tuovasashek has to come up to make the tackle. As we'll send this one to DCE. He'll play. Switch play to Paseka. Out to Sirinen. And he can't get it off to Parker. And that is tackle three. We go back inside to Kepi. Off to Fainu. He takes one right up the middle. We send this one to DCE. He gets it to Olakawatu. He's through a gap. Doesn't have much support, but that is a high tackle. And we'll get some easy meters off of that penalty as DCE will look for touch. And we are closing in on some more points. DCE with the ball. Sends this out to Cust. He's straight through. Huge gap. Can't make it to the line, though. As Foran sends this one wide to Sirinan. He can't crash over. Working from close out here. As we send it left. Beautiful hands. And Ruben Garrick will go in the corner. Beautiful quick hands from Teniela Paseca. And Garrick will go in for our first four pointer of the second half. And we do hit back and try to cut their momentum. As we convert it to six points. Approaching the final quarter of this game. As we get this one to DCE. Short ball to Cust. He's straight through a gap again. And he settles this one in the middle. But that is fifth and last. We are stuck in our own half. But we'll try to get a big kick out. As we send this one to Foran. Looking for the sideline. But it's fielded by Fussy Tua. As he brings it back up to the 40. Not a bad kick return. As the Warriors will be looking for some more points. They got numbers both ways, but they go left. They send it to two of us a check, and again he beats the first defender. And he'll be tackled around five out. As the Warriors not giving up on getting some more points. As that'll be fifth and last. And they make a meal of the fifth tackle option, but they get the offload. And no points will come for the Warriors. As they do come up with the error. And we do get the handover as Marty Tapao takes this one up the middle. Carrying a few defenders with him. DCE straight up the middle. Gets the markers offside. And he's tackled there. Definitely not giving up on getting some more points. But the Warriors are not giving up either. Which makes it tough approaching the end of this game. As they shift it back to the middle. And there's a huge gap that opens up for them. But we recover well and they are held 10 out. They send it right. Chanel Harris to Vita is wrapped up 5 out. Do they have one more 4 pointer in them? As will Curran crash over? He goes close and he does. And the Warriors do get another try to get 16 points before full time. Siren about to sound here in the end of this game As this will be the Warriors last chance for some more points Another consolation try perhaps As they put the kick down to Tommy Turbo What can he do off the kick return As we look for some space He gets the fend off a of one Puts it on the inside for Fainu And that might be the game And that is full time as we do get another convincing win. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are enjoying the series so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for round 18. We'll see you then.